well, guys. So 200 moving average. So here's Blackie, and in this video, guys, we are going to talk about the 200 EMA. Why it's so important, and, and it's, this is really, really crucial and an important topic, especially if you have experienced losses, okay? Hello, welcome back guys to my channel. So 200 EMA is one of the most important singular indicator. Yes guys, if you use a 200 moving average indicator uh, accurately, this one single indicator can help you to generate profits, it can help you to then, you know, determine the best take profit and stop loss levels. So guys, make sure you watch this video until the end. We can talk about specific E200 EMA strategy and we're also gonna talk about exponential moving average golden cross. Yes, golden cross strategy. So let's get started guys, but make sure you watch this video until the end so that nobody's getting getting lost, okay? Uh, and nothing and uh, nobody's missing any in any you know parts of this video. So make sure you watch until the end and let's get started guys. So 200 moving average is an indicator that smooths out the price action moves and helps you to find clear trends. It also can help you to find the dynamic support and resistance. So the moving average is created by showing the average price over the period of, you know, of time. So 200 moving average, for example, is a 200 day moving average is using 200 days price information. So. Uh, how to use 200 moving average uh, on a trading view or MetaTrader 5 platforms? It's really simple. So on a trading view, simply click on indicators, search for moving average, and uh, search for moving uh, moving average right here. And also, uh, when it comes to MetaTrader platforms, so click on insert, click on indicators, and click on uh, trend, and click on the moving average. Okay. Right, so what is a 200 EMA trading strategy, okay? So the main strategy when using 200 EMA is identifying larger trends uh, or looking for when trends are changing. This way you can either find new long tra running trend trades or exit with healthy profits, okay, without losing any money. Uh, keep in mind it's a longer term indicator set over 200 periods. Uh, that is best, you know, to use to, use to find the uh, longer term trends. And uh, now, how to use 200 EMA to find trades? So there are two ways to find trades. And one way is that, you know, look at the trend trade. So look at the trend and then uh, finding trades based on a trend. Or look at the dynamic support and resistance. So uh, trend trades. So when trend trading with 200 moving average, we are looking for large running trends, okay? Uh, this also means we are looking for larger pip targets with larger stop losses. Uh, to use 200 EMA for trend trading, we are waiting for the clear direction either higher or lower. As the chart shows, you know, as, as the chart shows here, whenever we see price going close to the 200 EMA, it either tends to reject it or either tends to develop large candle and break out. Whenever we see breakout, it means that from that point forward, price is increasing, experiencing and should experience bullish momentum and price going up. Or if we see that the price is rejecting it, we, this is considered as the resistance or dynamic resistance or dynamic support here. So dynamic resistance, uh, for example, in here and then dynamic support in here. Make sure you always watch the history charts and make sure you see how the price was respecting the 200 moving average because the 200 moving, aver uh, moving average will not be the same on all the assets. And this comes to the, our second uh, strategy, okay? So this is one of the main strategies used with 200 uh, period moving average. is trading the bounces of dynamic support and resistance, okay? So for example, here we can see the USD CAD has respected 200 moving average clearly as a support zone, okay? As a support zone. And whenever it breaks, uh, breaks out and shows the bullish candle breaking out, it keeps, you know, staying that way until it goes back to the 200 moving average and breaks out again. But whenever that breakout happens, it can be clearly seen. And for us to make profits, we all we need to do is to identify these breakouts. Now the golden cross. 
So EMA 50 crosses EMA 200 trading strategy. We're gonna talk about it now in a second. Uh, how to place this on a chart? Simply place two EMAs, one of which set to 200 and the other one set to 50, okay? The color does matter, it depends on your trading style and your trading preference. So very popular way, this is a very popular way to use 200 period moving average. You know, this is when another smaller period of average is also interacting. The reason for using two moving averages, one a longer period than the other one, is because the shorter period moving average will react more quickly for what price is doing. You know, when you, co when you compare it to the longer, which is 200 moving average. Uh, so while, yeah, so while the 200 moving average is a longer term indicator, the 50 uh, period moving average will remain a lot closer uh, to the price action, okay? And this can tell you a lot about price, what, what price is doing. It's gonna basically tell you what, 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 what is the price action, what the price is doing, and uh, where can it go next. So the golden cross. So EMA 50 crosses EMA 200, okay? So when, EMA, when the 50 EMA crosses 200 EMA, it often signals that the shorter term trend is changing, okay? As the chart shows below, uh, the 250 EMA breaks below and the 200 EMA and the price begins to make shorter move lower which we can see uh, happening here whenever the blue line crosses the red line and whenever blue line is above the red line. Again, the colors doesn't matter. You can change these colors to any colors of your choice. But whenever we see these golden cross um, between these two EMAs, that's where the trend is changing and those would be our trigger points. Another way this, pa this uh, pair of moving averages is used to identify the strength of the strength, okay? So whenever uh, the 50 EMA and 200 EMA are apart, uh, when they are very far away from each other, it means, and it identifies, it means basically that the trend is very, very strong. If they, began, if they begin to come together, uh, it shows the price has rotated back. Uh, to the mean and the trend is stalling. So the best would be to look for the oppor trading opportunities whenever we see that the two of these EMAs are far, far apart. Okay, so now to do, 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 to do that, the best is to, t uh, to wait for either golden cross or the dead cross. Okay, so, so uh, a lot of traders use what is commonly known as a golden and dead cross in their trading. The golden cross refers to when a 50 period moving average breaks through above the 200 moving average. The dead cross is the exact opposite. This is where 50 moving average uh, crosses below 200 period moving average. And we can see such uh, situations uh, nearly every single day. And uh, so it depends. So which pair should you trade with this strategy? Of course, the best would be to uh, trade Forex majors. So as you can see, we have uh, the, the cross right here. So whenever you see the cross happening, those are the areas and those are the times, uh, you know, to, to look for trading opportunities. And why you may ask why I'm looking at the USD CAD in this video example is because just before the, this video, I placed the USD CAD trade and I'm you know, making around 10% return on my investment in just, uh, yeah, in just 30, you know, less than 30 minutes by simply identifying these, you know, these, these quick trends. Uh, so yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. So if you need help in trading, let me know and you're welcome to email me. If you wanna copy my signals from my signals group, then you're welcome to join my academy and cop because every single my academy member will get a lifetime access to copy or forex profitable signals. But always remember, there is no magic in trading, education and practice is the key for long-term success. Also, the 200 moving average can help you avoid emotions. So, for example, if you're not sure if the price is uptrending or downtrending and you're not sure where is your support or resistance, uh, and or if you're not sure where are your strong pivot points, your pivot corridors, okay? Then you can use 200 moving average 
to you know to help you know uh, to avoid these kind of uh, you know feelings because whenever whenever you look at the chart you know and you're wondering where is your resistance you know one thing that if you don't know where is the resistance it's okay but you know that the thing that whenever price is below 200 EMA it's a downtrend but you know that whenever price goes up you know and touches the 200 EMA that can be considered as your resistance pivot point and from that point forward price could go down or vice versa you know if you're not sure where the trend is changing where the trend is starting to become to become an uptrend instead of downtrend then simply again switch off your emotions and simply wait whenever price is gonna go and uh, break out your 200 moving average so for example this is a 200 moving average you're simply waiting when you see and waiting for the breakout you simply wait for the candlestick to break out above 200 EMA meaning that the breakout has happened and meaning that from that point forward it's an up trend and make sure you go to my website and get your free ebook get your free ebook for uh, regarding forex trading and technical analysis just go to andrewstradingchannel.com and trade safely trade responsibly enjoy your profit i love you all and guys you're always welcome to contact me if you need help in trading i love you all bye bye